This is it right here. Last episode ever. Not under 10, but ever of Madden 22, most likely. Um, we're done after this. I am... This is this might be my hill turn episode. I'm about to go on a fuck not a real ramp, but it's just like I'm, I'm annoyed with this game. When I first made this series, I really thought I was making a genuine new series, which I still think I did. I don't think anybody has ever done anything like this, as far as I have seen. No, I have not searched it up. So if anybody did, whatever. I I feel like I made some genuine content out of this. A uh, genuine idea, a genuine series, and it was something new, and it felt good. But you know what did, didn't feel good about this game? The game itself. The game is very bad, and I feel the same way, at least from what I see in Madden 23, if not worse. Madden 22, you have absolutely no control on defense. This has been the case for, for years in Madden, especially for linebackers. You can't make a play on the ball. You have no jumping ability. Like, it's just like your linebackers play like how you expect a D lineman to play in coverage. And it shouldn't be like that. Linebackers are supposed to be athletic. They're supposed to be almost as big as D linemen, but faster. And almost as fast as corners in a sense, but slower and stronger. But they don't have no jumping ability. Even though there are some linebackers in the NFL who are very athletic. The most athletic you get in the linebacker position is getting to the quarterback or being kind of fast. But in terms of jump ability, no. This is why when you see people play Madden like online or Ultimate Team, they have safeties at linebackers because safeties are the ones that can make the plays in those positions. Uh, I mean, yeah, size just kills in this. It just is it's unfortunate how the game plays. There's no defense at all. It's only play good. You have to play your fucking heart out to get a stop. It's just very annoying in this game. Offense wins, and I can show you. I've been playing on all Madden, like I have. It's just <laughs> that's what it is. Is it in league setting? I think it's in league settings. Yeah, I've been playing on all Madden simulation. Like it's just annoying what you got to do to you feel me, even compete. Like I just this series is taking a lot out of me. It's just annoying. Very annoying how the game plays, and I'm not caring about win or lose because, like I said, it's the end of the series. It won't do anything for me. I'm, I'm still going to feel the same way about the game, and no, I'm not getting Madden 23 because I I genuinely, um, I don't feel like physically playing Madden anymore. I just don't. Like, the most I'll do is play against friends, and I'm not buying a $70 game because I will be getting it for next year. If I do end up getting it, I'm just not. And when it, before it was coming out, I was like, yeah, it looks good. I might get it. And now I'm just like, mm, no, I don't want to. <laughs> I just don't. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now in terms of Madden. I'm just kind of fed up. Uh, glad this series is over. I can do something else. I, I am planning on taking a break from just uploading, period. Because this just was, it's just not fun, it's tedious, and just felt like more of me doing something that I had to do rather than me wanting to do something, you know? So, yeah, I will be taking a, I don't know, I might take like a week off or maybe two, maybe a month, I don't know. I might upload some other games uh, here and there, like Fall Guys or WWE, I don't know, I don't know, I'll see how I'm feeling in terms of my uploads, but... Yeah, I'm kind of through. After this 45-minute episode, or really what is going to be for me, an hour recording, I'm going to be done. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. It's going to be like I am, after I finish recording, finish editing, I might not even make a thumbnail. I haven't been, that's how you can tell I'm kind of done with the game because I'm just not, I'm not even putting effort into my, uh, my thumbnail making. Like I haven't made a genuine thumbnail. I can't, like, maybe in the beginning of the season. Like, that's, that's what I think. I, like, I haven't made a genuine thumbnail since the beginning of the season just because I just be so tired of 
the game after I play it. So many shit. Sometimes it's not even like a bad game. Sometimes I like the game goes good. Like everything is like in a sense perfect, but I just be so through with it. Like the game is just not good, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Um but yeah, like I said, this will be it. In my personal opinion, I uh, I don't want to say this, but like I said, this is a hill turn, so I guess I kind of have to be the guy to say this. I just don't really think Madden has had a good game. Like a genuine good game in a very long time. And when I say a good game, I mean a game that you, you can really be proud to say like this is a game you play. And that's like not even like nothing crazy to say, but it's like it just isn't that right now. It's such a I don't know it, the 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 game just plays a certain way that is like you don't I don't know it just it doesn't I don't feel like it represents real football. You have to play in a certain manner in a gaming manner to make the game play in a certain way, and after that you have to like. The fact that you have to change sliders every year, so the the oh my god, this <laughs> this is the crazy part. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna show you what all Madden. It tells you all Madden is because this is this is crazy that a game will actually say this. Look, it says set the game difficulty appropriate for your no for you. I don't know why I said year. I'm tweaking. Rookie gives you an easy challenge while all Madden makes your opponent almost unstoppable. And stop it! And stop a bull! Oh my God! What, what am I saying? Oh, was unstoppable? Unstoppable? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And stop! I don't know why I was saying it weird. What the fuck? Makes it almost unstoppable. Why does it sound weird? Unstoppable? No, it's impossible. What am I saying? I, I was trying to say impossible and unstoppable in the same sentence. Unstoppable. That's a okay. That's a new word. Add that to my little black book. Um. Makes it almost impossible to stop. That is not a gaming experience. And you, like, if you want a challenge on any... Because if you put in a rookie, way too easy. What are the difficulties? You have rookie, pro, all pro, and all that. Now, let me just tell you. Rookie, easy to go. You could do anything on a rookie, and you will not have a challenge. You could do jump balls all day, and you're going to most likely win them. Pro, same thing. It's not too much too difficult you could play on all pro but you have to change the sliders to be a little more difficult but then again the gameplay is so easy almost every hit stick that you hit on all pro will most likely be a fumble I've seen it so many times when i'm like doing uh sims and stuff it's not a challenge almost never a challenge and all madden obviously you can see all madden impossible who wants to play uh, that just doesn't make sense to me. Whatever. All right. All right. Moran's over. We're going to get into the gameplay. And, yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to play the game, bro. We're just going to play the game. Why am I getting Discord notifications right now? I didn't even change uniforms. That's how, like, kind of done I am at this point. I wanted to put them in, like, their creamsicle uniforms. But I didn't. So, whatever. Hey, hit that subscribe button, man. Uh, it shows me that... 93, a whopping 93% of y'all are not subscribed watching my videos. Can you believe that? I can't even believe that. 93 is kind of crazy, bro. So you don't have to subscribe button. I also like the video. I was the channel out a ton. I was the video out a ton. It also does help the channel because you know, the video helps the channel. You know it goes hand in hand. How much have y'all been listening to lately? I've been listening to like a lot of ye. This, this these past couple months, I'm I'm completely like out of this game. I really don't care. <laughs> like I'm just I'm gonna talk about something else. Um, yeah, I've been listening to like a lot of Yeet. Like almost like a little too much, honestly. <laughs> like since these past couple months, and he's not like a like a really. I don't know if he's a rapper you really listen to like the. Like, obviously, he's good, but it's like, he's not, like, an everyday rapper to where you could actually make a case. He's, I mean, you could make a case anybody's your favorite rapper. It's your favorite rapper, so it's like, you can't really, can't really dispute that, but I don't feel like he's anybody's favorite rapper, as I miss. 
What was that animation? I dived behind him and it's like I dived in. I don't know. That was a weird one. Are you serious? All right, we get the ball. That's nice. Okay. There we go. He actually held on to that, which is very surprising. Though. I might throw this up. No. There's a late hit on the quarterback for sure. It better not be a hold or a legal block in the back. Yep. Felt that shit. We'll take that. I was planning on taking a shot because, like, I never have taken a shot in this game. But I'm just like, nah. It's not worth it. Let's just go ahead and get our touchdown. Rolling out. Oh, we have space. Daylight. We're basically right there in the end zone. Why am I gonna run in here? Yeah, we actually will. They're not showing nothing to stop us, and even if they do, don't touch me. Easy touchdown. That was a nothing drive. We felt nothing. Like, see what I mean when you have to play perfect? But the only reason we play perfect right there because we have some of the best, fastest receivers. I mean, in this game, speed kills, bro. Like, if you don't have speed at the wide receiver position, you are not going to do good. And you can say that in real life, but that's not always true. You don't have to be the fastest receiver to be good in the NFL. Yeah, if you want to burn deep, but I don't throw deep balls like that. I throw short to medium balls. That's it. Damn it. Good tackle, though. I don't know how this is next gen stat. Let's actually see. Because that's actually a dumb next gen stat. Really pursuit speed? He almost got blocked. <laughs> okay, whatever. He should not be fucking bulldozing that. Whatever. But some. I think my favorite Yee song right now. Well, not. Let me not say right now. The first song I ever heard was Sorry About That, right? Very annoying fucking. Alright, he's scrambling for some reason. I wish I would have run a fumble. But the first song I saw heard was Sorry About That. Very annoying song. Like, you, you hear the song everywhere TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. You feel me? Anywhere you could think you would hear a song, I've heard that song right very annoying but when i heard the lyrics like outside of the chorus i'm like yo this is actually a good song <laughs> it's a good song like it's a crazy good song i'm like bro he not like he's spitting or he's a uh, lyrical g no it's like bro this is actually like the lyrics are actually pretty fucking good good stop but it's like the catchy songs that he has are like annoying because they're catchy. Good defense. Hold him to a field goal most likely. We will. But yeah, that's sorry about that song. Very annoying. At first. Then I started to like it. And then the real song that got me hooked was uh, All I See. I think it's called All I See. Is it called that? Yeah, All I See. All I See. When I heard that, I'm like, yo, this is this is a hit, and no one's talking about it as a hit. But I understood why no one's talking about it as a hit. Because he had other great songs, too. That were also hits. Good catch. But if you get a chance, go listen to that song, All I See. I guarantee you, that is a fucking banger. Y'all really gonna review that? Who cares, bro? For some, wow. I'm like, I thought it was gonna be overthrown. Somehow he catches it and gains a couple yards after that. Uh, 
That's a touchdown. Yep. Like I said, pretty damn easy on offense. Like, offense rules in this game. <laughs> it just does. Too fucking easy sometimes. I was going to put us up 14-3. The only way they're going to win this game at this point is if this is how much offense is key in this game. Only way they can win this game is if they score every trip downfield and we don't score. Not every trip, but we would at least have to not score twice. And do you see us doing that with our way our offense has been playing on so far? No. Nigga, I'm talking about yeet <laughs> while I'm playing. Usually I don't talk about anything when I'm playing other than the game itself. I don't even care. This is like I'm kind of doing promo for Ye at this point, but I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying, like, bro, I just I really enjoy his music. I think other people should, too. It's great music. And even some of his, like, older songs are really good, too. Like, some are some things that don't get recognition. I don't like him as so much of his older stuff as much, like overall, because they're like, they're kind of like a little too melodic. Like you could tell when someone's trying to find their sound at that point in their career, and obviously he was trying at that point. Come on, y'all, we gotta get in there. But yeah, you could tell he's trying to find his sound at that point, and I mean, you could tell he found it now, but at the time, oh, well, not at the time, I right? was that time, but. That music, I just wasn't super... Wow, they actually hit that. I never see him make that throw. And that's the spot I should have been. I just came too much down. I'm trying to think of other songs of his like that I'm really into. But I can't really think right now. I tried to get a hit stick. That shit did not work. I think if you start listening to, like, Around the Time of Alive... That's a really good album, bro. That's a really good album. Bruh. That's a really good album. Oh my gosh. Really? Down to the one. That's amazing. Amir, you're getting sacked because you like to run read the option a lot. <laughs> Yo, he ran read the option three plays in a row. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I'm just covering this metal right here. Did he just like shovel pass it to him? Yeah, like I said, a lot of songs on that uh, Alive E album, they're very good, man. I could go down the line on some of them, which I probably am in a little bit after I get a kick return one. Like, Always Alive, good. Tonka, decent, a little bit annoying. Died before. That's good. Back to bed, really good. Ecstasy, somewhere in the middle of me. War One, good. And my favorite song on the album, Sleep Talking. Or Sleep Walking. Sleep Talking. Very fucking good song, oh my god. Like, he was... <laughs> he be rapper, bro. And when I say he be rapping, it's not like he's spitting, like I said, not spitting some lyrical miracle stuff. But it's like he's just, like, the song is just good, bro. That's, that's all it means. So much space. Okay. How did that ball pop up that high? When I First of all, I tried to slide. You saw me going down. 
and then that happened. All right. We actually might not convert right here. After I was talking so confidently about my team. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Good way to get around the edge. We're punting for the first time today. That's fine. It's gonna be two. We actually gonna wait for the two minute warning. And actually, we're moving on to the next D album, which is 4L. I think this album kind of has no skips. Like, if it was me rating this album, I would probably give this album absolutely no fucking skips. Not absolutely, but this is like a closest thing to a no skip album when it comes to heat. Very close, bro. Like, all these songs on here are actually really, really fucking good. Not gonna lie. Like, I'm looking at it right now. And it's a, it's a 20 song album, too, mind you. A 20 fucking song album. And it is really coming close to having, like, no skips entirely. There might be, like, one, like, may, at most, three or four skips. That's not a lot, either. For a 20-song album, you only have three or four skips. That's pretty good. When you have, like, a 16-song album or, uh, you feel me, a 10-song album, having, like, can we get the ball? Thank you. I didn't change the difficulty. I left it on matter. But yeah, having a uh, 20 song album with like maybe three or four skips at that, amazing. You could you couldn't you can't really ask for anything more at that point. And they're not like really skip skips. It's like I just don't listen to this at the moment, but I could get there. Pretty easy. Yeah. So, uh, one of his greatest albums. This is when he really kind of made that turn. Honestly. Tesla and Rover. Sorry about that. Which I was mentioned earlier. Really good song. Probably stand out. Not the stand out. But probably the most popular song on the album. For really. Just woke up. Back to Ella. What the fuck. Like. Yo, all these songs. Chanelli. Off the lot. Big songs. Talk to God. Which is, oh my god, talk to God, it's just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this man was going crazy. Like, I can't believe how crazy he was really going at this point. Like, stepping up the craft from Alive to 4L. I think he actually released something before that, actually. I can't remember. So, 4L came out 20, what date did it come out? Alive came out August, not August, April 2nd. 4L came out in June. So it was like a month after he released that that song came out, or that album came out. But when did, um, when did Tonka come out? Not Tonka, Trendy. He actually released it after. That's interesting. So in the midst of him dropping Alive and then 4L, Cali. I think Cali is one of his once again best songs, bro. That's just that's just a banger fucking drag. I don't know how he got the late game right there. Like I wasn't paying attention, but I whatever, it doesn't even matter. Who cares, right? But yeah. Cali? Jesus Christ. Like how can you not like that song? I'm like a third and eight now. We haven't missed a throw yet. We're probably gonna miss a throw right here though, honestly. Out. That's a touchdown. We stay perfect. <laughs> That's going to be a 9 for 9 first half. With not one missed throw. Some of these throws are very fantastic. It's going to put it 21 to 6. In between Alive and 4L, Cali, great song. And then you drop 4L, which is a fucking standout album in my opinion to kind of like in a sense cement you and then after you release 4L you go up to me and then when I was praising 4L you go up to me and then it's like bro this is crazy this is crazy like this, this cements you 
I don't want to say cements because people think like I'm putting him ahead of like you feel me great rappers, which I'm not. But bro, I just think it just puts you in a spot as a upcoming rapper for people to like check on you now or like all right, he might be doing something. That was where I was supposed to be. <laughs> I just didn't go there. I'm like, all right, he's not going to throw it there anymore. Which he fucking did. Why did he do that? Yeah, like, up to me. Might be some no skips on that. Like, and it might. Like, this is very rarely where you have a rapper who has back to back albums that be could, like, straight back to back. It's not back to back. Like, it's not like you release a album and then an EP and then an album or you film you don't release for a while this literally came out in September so it's like three straight months of bangers bro like it's crazy to think about that three straight months of just quality music what there's no way that I caught that I'm like for sure that's an intro like, I'm, I was very comfortable with that being an intel, too. I'm like, all right, I just threw an intel. Made a bad read, but <laughs> he just catches it. Crazy. I could have scored a touchdown with this, too, but somehow the safety catches up to me. Don't know how that happened, but it did. Beautiful catch. They're not even going to review that. Interesting. I really thought they were. But yeah. Touchdown on every drive except one. And then again, we still got a turnover on that one. So, you could say touchdown on every drive. As we're just kind of cruising through the Super Bowl at this point. But yeah, that up to me album, man. I'm looking at track list. Just such a crazy track list. I think the song I hate on that album is Call Me. I just hate it, bro. I just don't like it. <laughs> it's just annoying to me, bro. It's like, why would you release that? Not release that, but it's like, it's not a horrible song. I don't want to come off as that person. But I just don't like it. Even in a song that I don't like and like, sorry about that. And, you know, you hear the lyrics where you're like, all right, it's not that bad. But call me, it's just like, yeah, this is, it's not bad. It's like, it's just not what I want to hear. And he ends up, he could have ran to the sideline and probably got a first down, but he throws it away. Oh, well. Game is probably over at this point. <laughs> I don't really have to do much anymore. The fact that he caught that is crazy. Wes is having a fucking game with his life. Put True Clock on, bro. Let's try to get out of here. Bro, I don't want to stretch. The fact that I gained any type of yards on that is ridiculous. Can this be another touchdown or would this be my first incompletion of the day? up in completion no it's not yo i swear to you i did not change it i didn't change it he for sure should have made a play on the ball mm, that could be not good they're gonna say still good all right whatever <laughs> oh my god maybe god didn't get the feed inbound like, yeah, they... this is like <laughs> You know how sad this is? This is me playing a important game in this series. Don't really care about it anymore. But while reviewing someone's discography, like I'm casually like playing, not playing, don't really care what plays I picked, and then just 
telling you how great this man is. But yeah, I mean, you have two back-to-back albums in the span of what? Two or three months of each other. And they're considered in his discography classics. You don't see that too often, man. I was right there. I thought he was going to keep like running a drag, but no. Just sat down on that shit. And then when we go to Two Alive, Geek Pack. The Geek Pack is the deluxe, but the Two Alive, bro? That might be cemented. I think it is actually is cemented because it has actually songs that people could listen to and people know, like Dub. I think Dub was one of the... It was one of the most biggest songs. I think it was potentially... Now, I have to say, um... What's that song? It kind of got annoying, but I can't remember the name of the song. Trendy, maybe? No, Poppin'. That's what it was. It was Poppin'. Oh, that's when we didn't get to. Because that was like an EP. I really don't know. Because I don't even see it on the EP shit. Oh, no. Two al- so that... I'm, I was on the right one. <laughs> Basically, two alive. Is... Because I'm looking at the Lux instead of the like original. And I'm looking for a specific song. I wasn't like seeing it, but... Yeah, basically to a lot, and and that song pop, and that just you feel me, that just really took off. It looked like they might score a touchdown there. Are you gonna run right here? Sacked. On Marquise Belton, love to see that. I'm going to ask play. What are y'all trying to do, bro? It's like y'all trying to not to score a touchdown as hard as y'all possibly can. Yeah, y'all not trying to score. Y'all ran like a jet sweep and then y'all ran the ball. Just back up. Give him everything underneath. Interception. We probably could have just swatted it down and probably got more yards. But who cares? Interception for the stats. I would like for them to never see the ball again. That's our first incompletion. I could have had a perfect game, but... Nah. Just no. What was I saying? What's the last thing I said about you? I think I was talking about um that two alive shit. Yeah, basically, I think the biggest song on there has to be Dub. 3G, obviously. Obviously, you gotta count 3G. Big Tonka. Both songs with Uzi, 3G and Big Tonka. And then. Poppin'. But you count any of these songs, bro. I obviously got Count Gunna and Young Thug songs outside and Rax Got Me. But my personal favorite songs Love Money. No comment. Can't relax. Still counting. Smoke Tur Tober? I think that's what it's called. Smoke Turbo. La M. Can't like I this is another no skip album, I just have to say. And that was recently one. I'm a little I don't know I don't think I can review this just yet. 
because it literally just came out. This song came out literally Friday, and this is Saturday. I'm recording. Well, Saturday, you're hearing me say this. I like it, but I'm not like I'm not extremely sold on it just yet. It has a lot of more like melodies in it, and I'm not sure if I like that or not. I'm a little conflicted on how I feel about it, honestly. I actually caught that interesting. Like I said, I wasn't even paying attention to talking about the fucking thing. But um already standout songs to the album. Flawless. I think the first three songs are good. Flawless, up on up off X and out the way. Talk is obviously good but eh. I'm sold I, I, don't, I don't think this is uh, he's always gonna have a deluxe pack on this which might boost it so I'm not too sure how I feel about it as of right now I mean maybe we could come back we probably won't I probably won't ever talk about anything like this again <laughs> but um yeah may maybe the deluxe might boost it depending on what's on the deluxe I would like us hear a little, some more features. It's not a bad album by any means, but I would just would like to hear like you feel me a little bit more features. I mean, there's an Uzi feature on there, so I mean, can you really complain about features at that point? But um, yeah, I think Lux is gonna boost it a lot in terms of how I feel about it, and that's actually gonna do it for this series. And this season and this team, we will never see these players ever again. You never hear from these players ever again. Series is done. Uh, maybe down the line, I might get Madden 23, and I might um, I might do another series like this. Um, you know, it, if I felt different about Madden 23, I would do the series again in Madden 23, but unfortunately, I do not. And unfortunately, my feelings are my feelings on the way Madden is right now. Um, who knows? I don't know what content might be coming. I, I will find something. I just don't know yet. Like, as of right now, I just really do not know. I'm kind of confused on what I want to do, what I want to put in this stuff. But, you know, we'll kind of make that decision when that time comes. I do want to see who won Super Bowl MVP. Like, it's not the end of the episode yet. I was just saying, like, you feel me? This is it for this, like, as far as you've seen. And we played the perfect game as perfect as they could come. Wes missed one ball, threw for 93% completion. Somebody threw for 89. I don't know how he threw so perfectly, but whatever. Four touchdowns, one interception. This could have been a perfect game, but, you know, whatever. 299 passing yards very good it could have been three but wasn't and rushing the ball was pretty decent 3.7 on the ground they had a better rushing attack and we look at receiving zach ross possibly come with super bowl mvp five catch 110 yards um i feel like we should have been prompted with a message but we have no messages so um whatever we're going to move to next week. I think that's the only way we can check Super Bowl MVP and stuff like that. And who won it? Who won it? Wes did win Super Bowl MVP. That's a pretty good award for him, man. I actually do like that. I liked it a lot. So he says we are two-time Super Bowl champs. So I'm guessing the Lions at one point did win a Super Bowl. Can't tell you what that was because not a Lions fan. If it was in my like memory, I don't even know. But yeah, that is really gonna do it for us. I mean, if maybe down the line, like I said, my mind will change on the way I feel about this franchise, this company's game. But in terms of me physically playing this game, I do not want to do it. It's not honestly Madden twenty. That's what I'm saying. This is I don't want to play Madden anymore, though, overall. I don't like how the game looks. It looks like it plays bad. It looks like you need some sliders to really change the game, as you do every year, which I hate. 
And I just don't think all Madden should be impossible or almost impossible, quote, put quotations over that, almost impossible to win. It just shouldn't be. It should just be. It should be based on some real life stuff. I don't know what they have to change in the game. It was a simulation game, but it does not play like a simulation. And this is a, this is not. I'm not doing this rant. I'm not doing this. Rant. I already did this rant. Um, yeah, if you didn't enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Um, you feel me? I don't know. Uh, hit my Twitter. Uh, you can hit my Twitch. Actually, yes, hit my Twitch. Hit my Twitch. My Twitch is. Uh, in the description, it's gonna be in the description. I stream almost every day. Um, yeah, I, I stream a lot. I stream a lot. I've been streaming a lot for the past. I don't know. I streamed a lot this year. I'm not saying there were good streams, but I definitely did hit that stream button a lot. I definitely did streaming. But anyways, I'm losing track. I gotta get out of here. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Hit the Twitter. Hit the Twitch. That's going to do it for me. Peace.